Welcome back. Now, the Cat Cafe concept originated in Taiwan has been adopted in cities all over the world from London to Singapore. And cat lover Georgina O'Neill has been trying to get a cat cafe off the ground in the capital for many years. But she recently opened her doors to the Cat Lounge. It's in Dublin, Smithfield, and if you're a feline fan, you won't need much persuasion to pop in, like I did. Have a look. Beautifully done. <laughs> What's new, pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's new, pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. Georgina, here we are in your brand new space, your new business, Cat Lounge Dublin. I'm quite fascinated by this. Tell us about the whole concept. So basically, it's more like an experience, so people can come and spend time with the cats. Okay, we're going to have, we have kittens at the moment, but we're going to have a lot of, like, older cats. So this isn't a facility for people who, to bring their cats? Oh God, no, no. Uh, we have cats here, and these cats, uh, at the moment, they're being socialised so they can be adopted out into good families. So how many cats are here at the moment? There's two litters, I believe. Yeah, we have two litters, ten cats in total. Um, one litter is currently ten weeks now, and the other litter is eleven weeks. I think it has to be said, even if you're not a cat person, these kittens are just ridiculously cute, aren't they? Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, people lose their reason outside looking in, you know? You see grown men melting at the window looking at them, you know? It's amazing. It's kind of therapeutic. It, it seems like a very relaxing spa space, almost akin to a spa-like atmosphere, isn't there? It is, and the amount of people leave here with smiles on their faces is unreal, and people have said that they needed this, you know? They needed to just come in and chill with the cats. And the cats, they could be hyper and playing or they could be sleeping on top of you you know uh, either way it's very relaxing atmosphere so where did you get this idea from Georgina well they're all over the world you know now they're very food focused everywhere else whereas here it's very cat focused you know and um, it's all about the cats here we want to make sure that they are comfortable they're happy they're socializing you know and how have you found business so far it's been amazing absolutely amazing I didn't think it'll kick off this well and um, a lot of the weekends are fully booked so uh, like if people want to book they have to book a few days in advance uh, there's no walk-ins because of that you know I'd end up with queues around the corner I think they're the most photographed cats in the world would that be fair to say I'd well believe it I'd well believe it and uh, they know how beautiful they all are <laughs> you know use they pose an awful lot <laughs> you know? you're obviously a cat lover yourself yes. George. Yes, I grew up with cats. I always had a cat, always. So this is a business, but it's it's a business with a real passion. Absolutely, yeah. It, it, it came from a passion and it turned into a business. Everybody wants to be a cat Because the cat's the only cat Who knows where it's at Tell me! Vicky, we're interrupting you because you are here to use this facility today. Tell us about yourself. You're a student and, and you're working? Yes, absolutely. So I study graphic design at the moment, uh, full-time, and I work uh, part-time. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty busy life. <laughs> yeah, you have a busy life, and that's what I'm interested in. But yet you've made time to come into the Cat Lounge. Why is that? Uh, I think it's absolutely great. I mean, like, I'm an animal lover myself. I adore cats. You can look at my phone <laughs> cover here as well. It's I have a few more with the cats. And when I heard the cat lounge opening, I was like, I'm going in there, absolutely. Is it a social thing here as well? I mean, do you think you would make friends coming here? Uh, well, you definitely meet people who love cats, who love animals, so we all have something in common here, and it's really good for chatting as well. And I get the sense that these cats are very well cared for. Absolutely. Um, well, just look at that setup. And um, they're fed, they have their own rooms, they have sleeping space, uh, they have so many toys. And obviously, if people come in and play with them all the time, they will grow up as very social not shy animals at all and they're all going for adoption so that's the point of it <laughs> I think that's very go. sweet. Great you taking a trip lady. to the <laughs> cat lounge? Would it be for any of you? Of it's busy. Well, Business is great. That girl Vicky was chatting and she was saying that she's a really busy life, full-time job. So it's a huge undertaking and responsibility to have a pet at home. Yeah. So if you don't have that and option. It's in Smithfield. So many people living there mm. don't have the space to, to have pets, you know, mm. and they've busy lives so they can't keep pets. But they love the idea of just hanging out with them. It's the equivalent of going for a facial.
Yeah, it's like therapy. And it's supposed to be very therapeutic, yeah. hanging out with cats in particular. Simon, we're, we're booking Simon. you in. <laughs> uh, yeah, if anybody was thinking of a Christmas present for me. <laughs> Cat lounge vouchers. Please. There's your Chris Kendall sorted. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, good luck to them. It was, it was therapeutic to hang out there for a while.